Hey Fertility Godmother family, today we're going to discuss miscarriages because they happen to be pretty common and we don't realize it until we're going through it. So grab your tea and come join me and if you have any questions, go ahead and type them in the chat and if I don't get them live, then I will definitely get to them in the recording. <music> Hello, hello. Today we're talking about miscarriages and I wanted to just one, let you know that it is very common to have a miscarriage and a lot of times women think, hello, good to see you, welcome. A lot of times we think it's our fault as women when we have a miscarriage and I want you to know that it is not your fault. Most of the time they're for genetic reasons when we have a miscarriage and it there are things still that you can do to help prevent. So I wanted to give you some hope. I'm not sure where you are in your stages right now, but it's really normal to feel like it's your fault, like you did something wrong. You know, maybe there's something wrong going on in your body. There's a lot of different things that can happen and it's really normal to feel sad. Even if you've had an early miscarriage, it's really normal to feel sad and I want you to know that it's important to allow yourself to have those feelings and a lot of times when you're going through that you might feel like you might start comparing yourself to somebody else that you knew that went through a pregnancy loss later that had later down the road or you might start feeling like you're not supposed to feel sad and a lot of times our medical community can Put the pressure on us to feel like we don't deserve the right to grieve the pregnancy loss but it's so important to take the time to really allow yourself to have this process it is a loss and it is different for every person whatever you're going through it's very very different so i want you to just know really clearly that it's not your fault okay you didn't eat something wrong or take the wrong thing or do anything that could have caused you to have this miscarriage. In fact, most likely it was genetically abnormal. One of the things I like to recommend, this is my personal bias, is if you are going through a miscarriage and it hasn't just come out all the way, then you know if, you, if it's possible to have a, a DNC where you can check and see, was it genetically abnormal? Because that gives us some really good information about what, what's going on in your body and then how to proceed forward. So that's one tip that I wanted to recommend for you. And today we're talking, just talking about miscarriages. So if you have any specific questions, then let me know in the chat. I'd be happy to, to answer them for you. And but the other thing I wanna share with you is that there are things that you can do after when you get into the emotional space to take those steps. So after you've grieved, you've allowed yourself to process and you've healed, you're ready to take the next step forward, just kind of take a look back and look at, you know, is there something I can do? Did I give myself, my body enough time to prepare for pregnancy? Was I taking a good prenatal? Maybe I need to take a better prenatal, was I right? Maybe take a look at that. Could you have eaten differently? Look at those things that you could do so that you can hopefully prevent the next one. And again, there's no guarantee, there's no 100%, and, but it's important to know that there are things you can do to help you prevent. And I hope that that gives you some, some hope and a little glimmer inside this time where it can be really challenging for you. And a lot of times women are doing everything right and it still happens, right? Because even if, it happens what you know it's our bodies are so intricate and if things when you're when you um when the embryo is developing it is like duplicating so fast it's just reproducing cells so quickly that something can go wrong and it can happen very very easily so the idea is to really try to do the things you can healing yourself emotionally healing yourself physically to really give yourself the chance so that it doesn't happen again. So again, one way to do that is to just take a look back at your diet, take a look back at your lifestyle, take a look at 
maybe some nutrition. A lot of times I see women taking gummy vitamins and they end up having a miscarriage and maybe that was one thing. But we have to look at the broad picture of everything that can happen. All right, so sending you tons and tons of love. Is that, what's that? How long should I wait after a miscarriage before I start trying again? Well, that's a great question. So that's gonna be really dependent on how you feel um, emotionally. So a lot of times if you you can start, you can have a miss, you have, sorry, a lot of times you can start that next cycle. And sometimes that improves your chances of getting pregnant that next cycle immediately. So it's gonna depend on how far along you are, where you are emotionally, and where you are physically. So, and again, have you been doing those steps to really prepare your body for a healthy pregnancy and doing things that you can prevent it? So it's such a dependent answer depending on where you are at in the cycle. And if you do have, you know, um, but you could technically start, have, try again that next, that next cycle. That would be a good place for you to start. So anybody else? I'm going to give it a couple minutes here. Anybody have any questions that they want to answer or throw at me? Why I have you here about miscarriage or preventing a miscarriage. I'm not talking about uh, recurrent miscarriages today. That's that's a whole another another discussion, which I will be doing in the near future. But if you have a question about recurrent miscarriages and you're here, I'm happy to answer them for you. We're good. All right. Thank you for joining me today, sending you oceans and oceans of love and wishing you a healthy, happy pregnancy. Until next time, I'm Denise Neuer Arras, and I'll see you here. If you need any additional support, just DM me. I'm here for you. Mwah.